Coming up next, it is a welterweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Neil Magny. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Magny is two years his senior. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Van Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 27 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, presenting the challenger, Neil Magnet. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to build my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Right hand punch with the clinch. Beautiful 
body keep lands right up the elbow. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his hand, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Takedown defense holds up. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Lands flush with that right hand. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they set. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. He cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's gonna take armbar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Well, it's one thing to earn a UFC title. It's another thing to get it done emphatically the way he did tonight. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion, your winner by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, and new! So there he is, the newly minted UFC welterweight champion. You had to look far and wide for people who were picking him in this spot tonight. As Dominic Cruz said, when you became the double champ, he got it done. Not many people expected him to win. Those three guys that walked...